तो फिक्स है दीपक सर वी वेलकम यू टू दीट सर Yeah, please go ahead. Am I audible? Ah, uh, yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, please continue, sir. You were saying something, or shall I start? Ah, uh, just ah, uh, uh, we'll take two minutes, sir, for your introduction. I will start the session. So good evening, students. There's a brief introduction, Mr. Pak. The test expert, medical team mesmerizes students. He has conducted hundreds of seminars, webinars in renowned schools. He has great experience. experience in marketing and business development he holds an mba degree from ip university and worked in research analyst is a doctor in narayana group so the brief first the webinar Yeah, sir.
Okay, uh, may I request all the participants to kindly switch on their camera, if possible. Participants. We have class 9th and class 10th students. बच्चों क्या आप अपना कैमरा स्विच ऑन कर सकते हैं पार्टिसिपेंट्स आर वी एक्सपेक्टिंग सम मोर स्टूडेंट्स टू ज्वाइन यस सर मोस्ट ऑफ द ज्वाइन बट प्लीज प्रोसीड फॉर दैट Okay, uh, whosoever is the host, kindly put spotlight video, spotlight on my name. Okay, a very good evening to all the participants, dear teachers. Parents and students, I am Deepak Singh, President of Geo of Academy, and a mental ability trainer. I have been training students for MVPP, NTSC, KBPY, scholarship examinations for past fifteen years, and many of my students have scored ten percent marks in these prestigious scholarship exams, which have been conducted by the government of India. so i welcome you all on behalf of entire geo of academy to this educational webinar and i'm very sure the students who have joined us today will definitely learn something new and it is really going to help them out when they will sit for either ntsc kbpy iit je medical or cuet entrance examination in near future to dear student as you can see on your screen I have personally conducted several seminars and webinars with the schools, with the different schools across the length and breadth of the country, where we have spread awareness regarding these scholarship exams as why these are important and why you should take or why you should appear for these examinations. Generally, a student. think about the competitive exams or writing a national level competitive exams after class 12 they do not get a national level exposure before the completion of class 12 examination but in class 10 itself students they may get these kind of exposure by appearing in these national level scholarship examinations so that is why it is very important as it will give you a lot of experience a lot of exposure as how you should make your strategy how you should plan your studies so that you can come out with flying colors in near future so these are some of the schools just for a glance where we have conducted seminars and we have spread awareness regarding the importance of the ntsc exam so let us directly come to the ntsc scholarship examination why this exam is important and what it's all about now mvpt exam is mukhya mantri vigyan pratibha pariksha this exam is conducted for class 9 students only and that too for delhi it is an examination conducted by delhi government exclusively for the students who are in delhi but ntsc ntsc is exam which is conducted for the students across india that means there are 28 states and 8 union territories 
all 28 states and eight union territory students can participate in this national level scholarship examination which is conducted by ncert you all are studying ncert textbook in your school so this exam is conducted by ncert every year and is considered to be one of the most prestigious examination conducted at class 10th level and its real preparation must start at class 9th itself so a student who really wants to crack nts exam must start their preparation in class 9 itself as it will give them a competitive advantage over other students however even if you are in class 10 as the awareness which you should have got in class 9th itself if it's not there with you doesn't matter still you have three three and a half months time as this exam examination will be conducted in the month of january so still you have enough time to prepare for it and to crack this examination so what this examination is all about how to devise your preparation mechanism what all things you should keep in mind this we are going to discuss during the course of this webinar so first of all the important information as the name itself tells you national talent search examination is a scholarship program in india to identify and recognize students with high intellect and academic talent one of the prestigious exams and is conducted in two phases that is why it is also known as mini IAS examination. I hope you all understand Indian Administrative Services examination conducted by UPSC. So this examination is considered to be in parallel with the UPSC exam. So very, very important exam. And whenever I say this students, uh, it is a national level competitive exam, a general question comes to every student mind. But how will I able to crack this exam if I am not able to secure first, second, third position in my respective class test or school test, how can I compete at a national level? Now, let me tell you, an average student can also crack this examination. Every year, 2,000 scholarships are being award awarded as NTSC scholarship. And you could be one amongst those 2,000 students. Most of the students, they do not have an idea what is the pattern of the paper? What kind of questions are being asked? What is the difficulty level of the paper? And how to prepare for this examination? They simply fill up the form, get the admit card and go to the examination center, write the examination. But that is not going to fetch you the result. First of all, you must understand the pattern of the examination. You must understand what kind of question has been asked in the previous year. And 50% of the syllabus are already covering in your school curriculum. Your school teachers are taking care of it. So, I will also tell you what are the subjects you will be tested upon and how to prepare for those subjects. Before that, what are the, let us understand what are the benefits associated if you qualify this NTS examination. First of all, you get monetary benefit from the government of India. If you qualify NTS exam, you get scholarship amount of 1250 per month when you are in class 11 and class 12 you get a scholarship of rupees 2000 rupees per month when you are doing your graduation and post graduation and nearly 18000 rupees when you will be doing your phd that means by qualifying one exam at class 10th level you are entitled to receive scholarship from the government of india till the time you complete your highest level of education and that is phd but dear students, I am not motivating you to write this exam for the sake of 1250, 2000, 18,000 rupees. I am asking you to sit for this exam, number one, for the exposure. The national exposure that you will get, you will be competing with the best of best minds in India. So that exposure will play a prominent role, an instrumental role, even if you fail in this exam, even if you are not able to qualify, it's all together a separate issue. This exposure will give you confidence. This exposure will help you in cracking your other national level competitive examination. You are going to sit for BBA, PCA, CLAT. Even to get admission in central universities, nowadays CUET examination you have to go through. 
after cracking that exam then only you will be able to get a seat even in central universities marks ke basis pe ab kisi bhi college mein koi bhi seat aapko nahi milegi so agar bahut early stage pe if you start your preparation for this kind of competitive exam so ye aapko help karegi baki exams ko crack karne mein so you all must fill up the form for ntac class 9 students who are listening to me today must you must start your preparation from today itself and it is going to give you an advantage over other students who do not have awareness of this program so i am very thankful to the management of the school the teachers who have taken this pain to conduct this webinar for their students as the awareness is the key to success most of the time it has been seen many student they do have potential they have a good sound knowledge of mathematics physics science ssc but they do not know how to showcase their talent they do not have the platform just because of the lack of awareness aap hi jaise bahut sare bachche mathematics mein bahut acha honge science bahut acha unko aata hoga magar you are only competing with the students of your school however when you are studying for this kind of scholarship exam you are basically competing with the students of other states as well you are competing all over india and if you have potential definitely wo potential aapka bahar nikal kar aayega aur uske jo platform hai wo ye sare exams hai to abhi to maine monetary benefit ke bare mein baat kiya apart from this monetary benefit you get a lot of non monetary benefits also the renowned engineering colleges for engineering such as triple iit hyderabad offer direct voting seats to the student who have qualified in tsc exam triple iit delhi give bonus marks to those students who have who are, who are qualified in tsc scholarship exam many foreign and domestic universities they provide direct seats to the student who have qualified in tsc exam at class 10th level so lot and lot of non monetary benefits are also there so many universities recognizes this scholarship this certificate as it is backed by the government of india what is the eligibility criteria simply if you have scored more than 60% marks in your previous class suppose you are in class 10 and if you have scored more than 60% marks in class 9 final examination you are eligible to write this exam so and even an average student has got enough chances of qualifying ntsc the only requirement is commitment dedication and awareness if you are aware accordingly you can devise a plan accordingly you can make strategy for your studies and you can crack this examination this examination is conducted in two level two stages the first level will be conducted in the month of january and second level will be conducted in the month of may so still you have time class 10 student you can make a preparation strategy and you can qualify this exam each phase consists of two papers what are those papers this is very important for you all phase one consists of two paper the first paper is known as math that is mental ability test and second paper is known as sat that is scholastic aptitude test in sat you get 100 questions which you need to answer in Which you need to answer in one twenty minutes time. Now kindly concentrate on the whiteboard. I am giving you the bifurcation of the marks. Total there are two hundred questions. Now in these two hundred, hundred questions are based on SAT, that is Holistic Aptitude Test. This SAT is again divided into three parts: SST, Science. And mathematics. SST may you get forty questions, science may forty questions, and mathematics may you get twenty questions. So these total hundred questions, you get one twenty minutes time to solve these hundred questions. Similarly, another hundred questions you get on math, mental aptitude test. This portion you are already studying in your school curriculum. Your school teachers are taking care of this part. As you have been studying science, SST, mathematics. Since class one, so you know what kind of questions are there in these particular subjects. All objective type of questions with no negative marking in the first level examination. You just need to.
be thorough with your NCERT textbooks. And you get questions from class 9 and class 10 NCERT textbook. Again, I'm telling you, this NTS exam is for class 10 student and you must have knowledge of both class 9 and class 10 syllabus. If we have studied your NCERT textbook very sincerely, out of these 100 questions, out of these 100 questions, you can solve more than 80% of the question. You can solve more than 80% of the question. However, the portion which will decide whether you will be on the side of successful candidate or unsuccessful candidate is your mental ability section. This section is designed to you that this exam will qualify kar paayenge, kiri kar paayenge. Why? Because this section is not taught in any of the schools of India. It is not taught in और ये इतना इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन है कि आज के टाइम में ऐसा कोई एग्जाम नहीं है जहां पे ये क्वेश्चन ना पूछा जाए दिस इज आल्सो नोन एज लॉजिकल रीजनिंग सेक्शन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग सेक्शन और इसी क्वेश्चन के वजह से क्योंकि ये क्वेश्चन अवेलेबल है ये क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है एग्जाम में दैट इज व्हाई आई एम सेइंग कि एवरेज स्टूडेंट का भी उतना ही चांसेस एग्जाम को क्वालीफाई करने का जितना a intelligent, intelligent yeah, just a 95, 98, 99 percent marks are in school examination. Agar aap 65, 70 percent scorer bhi hai, to bhi aapke utna hi chances hai is exam ko qualify karne ke. Why? Because 50 percent of the paper constitutes of the question which are based on mental ability or mental ability. Agar aapko training mile, to aap bhoat achha kar sakte. Now just to explain what kind of questions are asked in mental ability section. To aap dekhenge, आपके लिए एक क्वेश्चन मैंने पूछता हूं जो पिछले साल एनटीएस एग्जाम में पूछा गया था एक आपके सामने स्लाइड के ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन है कि हाउ मेनी टोटल ट्रायंगल्स आर देयर इन दिस गिवन फिगर आई वुड लाइक ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू ट्राई आउट दिस क्वेश्चन एंड यू कैन पुट योर आंसर इन चैट बॉक्स लेट मी सी आपका क्या आंसर निकल कर आता है आप क्या सोचते हैं इस गिवन फिगर के अंदर टोटल ट्रायंगल्स कितने हैं चैट बॉक्स में अपना आंसर लिख सकते हैं चैट बॉक्स में आप अपना आंसर लिख सकते हैं अगर आपको लगता है आपका आंसर गलत भी हो जाएगा फिर भी कोई बात नहीं आप अटेंड जरूर कीजिए ट्राई जरूर कीजिए जो बच्चा कभी गलती नहीं करता है कभी सीखता नहीं है तो इसीलिए अटेंड जरूर कीजिए टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स 5 6 8 10 20 25 50 हाउ मेनी ट्रायंगल्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यू इन दिस गिवन फिगर देन आई टीच यू अ कांसेप्ट एक लॉजिक बताऊंगा जिसके बेसिस पे Within five seconds, you will be able to answer such type of questions. Or, kabi galti nahi hongi aapse. Try it out. Total number of triangles in this given figure. I am waiting for the answer. Dear student, I need your participation as well. Let us make it a two-way communication. May I request host to kindly unmute all the participants. And if, it, if possible, dear participants, kindly switch on your video. If you are comfortable, kindly switch on your video. Kuch bachya mein video on kar sakte hai. Kuch participants are mein video on kar sakte hai. Students will reply, sir. Yeah. Sorry? The student has to reply, but he is not replying, I think. Student, please, uh, sir, is whatever is saying, just listen that one. Dear students, I need answer from your end as well. Let's make it a two-way communication. Yes, Jordan and Kumar, would you like to say something? 40. How many triangles were there? 40, 40. Okay, 40. Any other answer? Yes, what is sir, student 50. is there, sir. Kundan, he has given answer 22. 22. Okay, you, you may put your answer in chat box also. 34. Yeah, chat box only, sir. Sir, 34. Chat, chat box is empty. I haven't received any answer. It's blank. Okay. Okay, fine. You may unmute yourself and you can speak your answer as well because I am not receiving any answer in chat box. Okay. 
48. Yes, Aryan. Aryan has written 48. I have received one answer now. Aryan has written 48. Okay, Molly Lohan has written 34. Swini Lohan written 34. Okay, I really appreciate these students. At least they are participating. They are trying to answer. Once again, let me just share that slide with you all. This was the question. The question was total number of primates. You can take a screenshot of this. Now, I will explain you. There are total 61 primates in this given figure. 61. Now, how did we get this 61? Please try to understand. I am just giving you a concept. The question being like this How many triangles are there in this given figure? You always say some one triangle. If I make one partition like this, which may partition are there? This may push us to different triangles. This may total triangle, chota triangle 1, chota triangle 2. Or in dono ko combine karte, bada triangle bhi nikal kar raha hai. So total three triangles hai. This figure ke under. Agar main aur triangle banata hu aise hi, aur beech mein maine do partitions dale, aur yahan maine pucha total triangles in this given figure. So chota triangle one, chota two, chota triangle three. One two ko combine kiya fourth, two three ko combine kiya fifth, aur one two three tino ko combine kar diya. So total yahan pe six triangles. एक और क्वेश्चन लेते हैं अब एक पार्टीशन और बढ़ाते हैं इसमें मैंने पूछा बताओ उसमें टोटल ट्रायंगल्स कितने हैं तो इसमें देयर आर टोटल 10 ट्रायंगल्स हाउ 10 सी छोटा ट्रायंगल 1 फिर छोटा 2 3 4 1 और 2 को कंबाइन किया फिफ्थ ट्रायंगल 2 3 को कंबाइन किया सिक्स्थ ट्रायंगल 3 4 को कंबाइन किया सेवेंथ ट्रायंगल 1 2 3 तीनों को कंबाइन किया एट 2 3 4 तीनों को कंबाइन किया नौ और 1 2 3 को सबको कंबाइन किया टोटल 10 ट्रायंगल्स यानी First of all, taking triangle one at a time, then taking triangles two at a time, then taking three at a time, and then taking all at a time. So we got total ten triangles. So क्या हमने इस तरह से हर बार करना होगा? बिल्कुल नहीं. You simply, if you observe the pattern, you will see it is sum of the smaller number of triangles. One or two add करेंगे, you will get three. Three, two, five, one, six. सबको add करोगे, you will get six. और इन सबको add करोगे, four, three, seven, two, nine, one, ten. टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स यहां पे 10 है एंड अगर मैं एक पार्टीशन और बढ़ा देता तो अब मुझे एक्चुअल काउंट करने की जरूरत नहीं है सिर्फ मुझे 1 2 3 4 5 इनका सम 5 4 9 3 12 2 14 1 15 यहां पे 15 ट्रायंगल्स होंगे टोटल अब एग्जांपल चला एग्जांपल ने क्या किया एक बेस ना देके दो बेस और बढ़ा दिए क्या फर्क पड़ता है अगर इस वाले बेस के ऊपर 15 ट्रायंगल्स है इसके भी 15 होंगे इसके भी 15 होंगे अब इस फिगर पर टोटल में बस 45 ट्रायंगल्स होंगे सही है सर समझ पाया सबको सही है सर नो आई हैव अंडरस्टूड और यू वांट टू एक्सप्लेन इट अगेन यस वेरी गुड नाउ अब जो क्वेश्चन आपके पास जो फिगर मैंने आपको दिया था Slide A, it was something like this. ये figure था, मैंने कुछ ऐसे बनाओ कितने triangles है? बिल्कुल simple सी बात है, अगर ये सिर्फ ऐसे होता, तो आप क्या कहते हैं? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, तो total 15 triangles होते हैं इस base पे, इस base पे 15 triangles, obviously इस पे 15 triangles, इस पे 15 triangles, लेकिन यहाँ पे, लेकिन यहां पे सिर्फ 1 2 और 3 ट्रायंगल्स होंगे क्योंकि यहां पे बेस यहां पे जाके खत्म हो गया आगे अगर मैं एक्सपैंड किया होता तो फोर्थ फिफ्थ भी जाता सिमिलरली यहां पे 1 1 2 3 4 10 ट्रायंगल्स यहां पे 6 ट्रायंगल्स यहां पे यानी कितना हो गया 15 3 is 45 plus 10 55 plus 6 61 इस फिगर का टोटल 61 ट्रायंगल्स there are total 61 triangles in this given figure. अगर आपको समझ में आ गया, तो एक क्वेश्चन मैं और आपको दे रहा हूँ। Let me see how many of you can answer this question. Tell me how many triangles are there in this given figure? आपके सामने 
बिगर है बताइए कितने ट्राई करते हैं इसके अंदर यू कैन गिव मी आंसर थ्रू चैट बॉक्स थर्टी सिक्स वेरी गुड शाबाश थर्टी सिक्स इज दी राइट आंसर सिंपल तो आप समझ के देखा आपने आरडी फाइव टू सिक्स सेकेंड का आंसर देना शुरू कर दिया वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव तो सबको ऐड किया फिफ्टीन ट्राइनर्स इस पे फिफ्टीन ट्राइनर्स इस पे लेके यहाँ रिस्पेक्टेड बेस से यहाँ से लेके यहाँ तक कैसे वन टू थ्री थ्री टू फाइव वन सिक्स छह ट्राइनर्स हैं यहाँ पे फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन थर्टी प्लस थर्टी सिक्स ट्राइनर्स वेरी सिंपल तो इस तरह से लॉजिकल रीजनिंग के ऊपर अगर आपको ट्रेनिंग मिले तो यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन टोटल वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स का टाइम मिलता है आपको इन 100 क्वेश्चंस को सॉल्व करने के लिए माय स्टूडेंट्स कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चंस इन जस्ट 60 मिनट्स टाइम एक घंटे में पूरे सौ क्वेश्चन हार्डली पांच से सात सेकंड किसी भी क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने में टाइम लगेगा इफ यू हैव करेक्ट नॉलेज करेक्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू हैव लर्न अब इस पे इसके बेसिस पर मैं कैसा भी क्वेश्चन दे दू यूल बी इन पोजिशन टू आंसर लास्ट टाइम एनडीएससी में क्या सवाल आया लेट मी जस्ट यू योर एग्जाम इसी कॉन्सेप्ट के बेस पे थोड़ा सा और एक्स्ट्रा दिमाग लगाना था और हम उसको आंसर को कर सकते थे सेम कॉन्सेप्ट पे क्या क्वेश्चन था दिस वाज़ द क्वेश्चन ये क्वेश्चन पूछा टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स इन दिस गिवन फिगर कितने ट्राइंगल्स होंगे इस फिगर के अंदर यस यू कैन गिव योर आंसर थ्रू चैट बॉक्स चेतना जैन या रेज योर हैंड काइंडली पुट योर आंसर इन चैट बॉक्स और यू कैन अनवीड योर सेल्फ एन आंसर टोटल नंबर ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स इन दिस गिवन फिगर प्लीज ट्राई ओके एक बच्चे ने कहा 13 आर एन आर एन यू आर क्लोज टू द आंसर देयर आर 15 ट्राइंगल्स 15 यहां पे 15 है तो कैसे 15 है देखो अगर मैं इस तरह की बात करूं यानी इसको मैं बेस मान लू यहां से लेकिन यहां तक बेस मान लू तो वन टू थ्री तो छह ट्राइंगल्स यहां पे होंगे सिमिलरली वन टू थ्री छह ट्राइंगल्स यहां पे होंगे ट्वेल्व ट्राइंगल्स होंगे अब अगर मैं इन दोनों साइड को लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड के फिगर को मर्ज करूं तो एक नया ट्राइंगल निकल कर आएगा दोनों की मर्जिंग की वजह से वही वाला ट्राइंगल इसी तरीके से ऊपर वाले इस डॉट से और इसी तरह से इस डॉट से यानी प्लस थ्री एक्स्ट्रा आ जाएंगे सिक्स प्लस सिक्स ट्वेल्व प्लस थ्री फिफ्टीन ट्राइंगल्स इस फिगर देर आर फिफ्टीन ट्राइंगल्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फिगर सो फ्रॉम काउंटिंग ऑफ फिगर यू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इसी तरीके से बच्चों अगर मैं आपसे पूछू एक वॉल क्लॉक पे एक वॉल क्लॉक पे अगर टाइम सात बज के बीस मिनट हो रहा है सेवन ट्वेंटी उसी का रिफ्लेक्शन मैंने मिरर में देखा तो मिरर में भी जो वॉल क्लॉक जो बना होगा उसके ऊपर क्या टाइम नजर आएगा कुछ बताइए सोचिए सात बज के बीस मिनट सात बज के बीस मिनट शो कर रहा है यानी अगर इस वॉल क्लॉक को हम ड्रॉ करें सिक्स फाइव सेवन दिस इज फोर तो सात बज के बीस मिनट कुछ ऐसे टाइम होगा ऐसा कुछ नजर आएगा इसी का अगर हम प्रतिबिंब इसी का अगर रिफ्लेक्शन इसी का इमेज अगर हम देखें तो कैसा नजर आएगा इसका एक शॉर्टकट सिखाता हूं शॉर्टकट सपोज कीजिए सपोज कीजिए बॉल क्लॉक में बॉल क्लॉक में थ्री ओ क्लॉक हो रहा है थ्री ओ क्लॉक थ्री ओ क्लॉक पे निडल्स कुछ इस प्रकार से होंगे बड़ी वाली सुई बारह पे छोटी वाली सुई तीन पे इसी का अगर हम देखते हैं इमेज तो इमेज कुछ इस प्रकार से होगा इसका यानी ऐसे नजर आएगा कि नौ बजे तीन बजे का जो तो टाइम है क्या नजर आ रहा हो कि नौ बजे उसका मेरा इमेज जो नजर आएगा एंड तो जितनी दूरी पे हमारा ऑब्जेक्ट होता है उतनी दूरी पे हमारा सॉरी उतनी दूरी पे हमारा इमेज होता है दिस इज सिंपल लॉजिक फॉर मेरस तो इन दोनों का सम कितना है इन दोनों का सम ट्वेल्व है तो जब भी आपको टाइम मिल जाए जब भी टाइम दिया हो मेरर इमेज निकालने के लिए तो जो भी आपको टाइम गिवन है उसको ट्वेल्व कंप्लीट करना है अगर मैं इसका यहां पर ट्वेल्व कंप्लीट कर दू ट्वेल्व कंप्लीट कर दू सेवन ट्वेंटी का ट्वेल्व कैसे कंप्लीट करूंगा सेवन में मैंने फोर एड किया इलेवन और ट्वेंटी में मैंने 40 add किया 60 यानी 720 when added up with 440 will get 
आप उसके बेसिक क्वेश्चन अपने एक्चुअल एग्जाम में भी आप सॉल्व कर पाओगे जाते जाते एक फाइनल क्वेश्चन आप सबके लिए लेटी सी मोमिन ऑफ यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इफ आई आस्क यू ऑल हाउ मेनी टोटल स्क्वायर आर देर ऑन द चेस बोर्ड वॉट विल यूर आंसर टोटल स्क्वायर ऑन द चेस बोर्ड आई होप यू ऑल मस्ट है चेस बोर्ड ओके कुंदन हेज रिटर्न सिक्सटी फोर वेरी गुड कुंदन एट लीस्ट यूर ट्राइड शाबाश चेस बोर्ड सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर सारे बच्चे सिक्सटी फोर लिख रहे हैं एट बाई एट का होता है दिस इज अस बोर्ड एट हॉर्जोटल बॉक्सेस एट वर्टिकल बॉक्सेस चेस बोर्ड आई होप आप सबने शतरंज देखा हुआ है चेस बोर्ड देखा हुआ है टोटल टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर स्क्वायर ऑन चेस बोर्ड दो सौ चार दो सौ चार अब देखो कैसे दो सौ चार कैसे हो मैं इस बड़े क्वेश्चन को एक छोटे पार्ट में डिवाइड करता हूं एक सिंपल क्वेश्चन लिया मैंने मैंने बोला इस तरह का बॉक्स बना है ऐसे ही चेस बोर्ड में क्या होंगे ऐसे आठ बॉक्स होंगे और ऐसे आठ बॉक्स नीचे की तरफ होंगे टोटल मैंने टू बाई टू का बॉक्स लिया इसमें एक यूनिट ये वन सेंटीमीटर है ये भी वन सेंटीमीटर तो वन बाई वन सेंटीमीटर के वन टू थ्री फोर बॉक्सेस तो मेरे पास यहाँ पे है और एक टू बाई टू सेंटीमीटर का बॉक्स है यानी बड़ा वाला बॉक्स सारे को मिला दिया जाए तो टोटल इस वाले फिगर में मेरे पास पांच बॉक्सेस पांच स्क्वायर ऐसे अगर मैं थ्री बाई थ्री का ले लू तो यहां पे टोटल मेरे पास वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन नाइन स्क्वायर ऐसे हो गए वन बाय वन सेंटीमीटर के ऐसे टू बाई टू सेंटीमीटर के बॉक्स पहला दूसरा नीचे से होगा तीसरा और चौथा चार बॉक्स टू बाई टू सेंटीमीटर के और एक खुद में जो बड़ा वाला है थ्री बाई थ्री सेंटीमीटर का एक बॉक्स और नाइन फोर थर्टी वन फोर्टी बॉक्स अगर आप ध्यान से देखो बच्चों ऑब्जर्व करो जैसे ट्राइंगल इसमें ऑब्जर्व किया था तो यहां पर यू विल फाइंड दैट दिस Four is nothing but square of two. One is nothing but square of one. Yeah, but nine is nothing but square of three. Four is nothing but square of two. One is nothing but square of one. So here, yeah, but four plus one. आपको कितना मिला five. Yeah, nine plus four, thirteen plus one. कितना मिला forty. यानी अगर आपके पास यही box अब four by four का होगा, तो क्या करना था? हमें कुछ नहीं करना था जब four के square से four square, three square, two square, one square को add कर देना. यही टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्क्वायर होंगे यानी 16 प्लस 9 25 प्लस 4 29 प्लस 1 30 आप कर सकते हैं यू विल गेट 30 स्क्वायर एंड दिस गिवन फिगर सिमिलरली अगर हमारे पास चेस बोर्ड पे पूछा गया है कितने स्क्वायर हैं तो चेस बोर्ड पे हमको पता है कि देयर आर 8 बाय 8 बॉक्सेस तो हम क्या करेंगे 8 स्क्वायर से स्टार्ट करेंगे 7 स्क्वायर डॉट 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 3 स्क्वायर 2 स्क्वायर 1 स्क्वायर पर ऐड कर देंगे एंड यू विल गेट 204 स्क्वायर सो दैट्स द आंसर दैट यू विल गेट I hope you have understood. If you have understood, give me a thumbs up. All right. Yes, sir. In chat box. If you have understood, very good. Saksham, Tundan, Aryan, great, great. So now I would like to see you all in my demo class. Which soon we will conduct and we will get information through your school coordinator from your school management. So thank you so much, dear students and teachers, for attending this webinar. This is all from my end. I would only like to say. to all the students to please fill up the form for ntsc and do appear for this examination ye bilkul mat sochna ki aap qualify kar paoge ki nahi kar paoge ek separate issue hai qualify karna nahi karna alag baat hai try to be part of the examination first agar aap exam ka hissa bante hain to hi aap qualify karne ke bare mein soch sakte hain qualify nahi bhi kar payenge to aapko exposure aur experience jo milega wo aane wale exams ke liye aapko taiyar karega so on that note Thank you very much, dear students, parents, and teachers for attending this webinar. Thank you so much. Anybody from school management would like to say something? Yes, students. If you have any questions related to this uh, webinar, you can use your chat box. You can unmute yourself and ask the question from our resource person. Any student, if you have any question, you may ask. Okay, perfect. So, sir, we will send you a demo link. If student would like to attend that demo class, they are most welcome. So, hopefully, we will be conducting it on Sunday. Maybe coming Sunday. This Sunday will be an off because on second October. So, uh, Anjali ma'am will coordinate with you and she'll let you know about the timing and other things. 
So thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. So students, there's no questions from your end. So I'll just sum up the webinar. I, third officer Vijit Anand, take this opportunity to thank our resource person Deepak, sir, to take out his precious time from his busy schedule for our students and to motivate them and to guide them to appear for the NTSC examination. Sir, it was really a mesmerizing uh, view from your end because, sir, what you were teaching, like uh, how many triangles are there, we could remember our days of mental aptitude test like that time when we were preparing for it. So it was really an eye-opening for everyone. And the question which was just presented before summing up this seminar, how many squares are there in a chessboard? So the first concept which was coming in our mind was 64 plus 165. But the way you presented this, this, this was really an eye-opener for me even. This was a wonderful session for the students, sir. And I, on behalf of the school management, once again, thanks to you, sir. Thank you for your precious time. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, sir. Okay. Uh, dear host, I end this session.